So, you know when you have something you want to say, but you don't want people to know that you said it? Perfect! That's what this video is about! So, um, basically, I have a Discord, right? And there's a section here called the Confessions Area. And basically, if you guys don't know, this is where you can obviously tell something that, uh, you want to get off your chest, but, you know, you don't want people to know that's you. And that's perfect. And I thought I'd do a video actually discussing maybe some of the confessions that people said. There's a lot of confessions here, and I thought I'd just start at the very beginning, which, uh, this actually opened up, like, I think four months ago. So I'm going to be going back in time, but, um, I think that's good too, so that, you know, maybe it's hard to identify who said it as well. So, um, let's just jump into it. Anonymous confession number one. No. Thank you. Anonymous confession number two. Always fucked up. Anonymous confession number three. No, God! Okay, are no, any of these fucking God, normal? Please, no! Number five! No! no. <laughs> what the fuck, no! guys? Ipsy gang, Ipsy gang, Ipsy gang. My pickets cost more than your house. Ooh, your mama still live in a village. Yeah. Uh, can I get a quarter pounder with fries? What the fuck? Okay, all, all the fucking phone, bro. <laughs> Is this what y'all think about my fucking server? Yo. Can I get a fucking quarter pounder with fries? Uh, ba, 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 ba. Thanks, guys. Thanks, thanks, thanks for thinking that's what this fucking Discord's about. Asshole shit. Number nine. Dude, same. Mmm, here's a good one. Number 13. When I find out someone doesn't like me, not in a joking way, I will do what I can to find out why, because I try and do my best so I'm not, uh, so I'm liked, but I know in my heart, not everyone needs to like me or anyone else, but I, f I still cannot stop myself from trying to fix it, if at all possible. I understand this more, more than you would imagine. Um, I am very much a people pleaser, um, or I try to be. Now, not so much anymore, and um, I'll explain why. So, at the very beginning of this YouTube journey, right, I uh, kind of was forced to move, and um, I left my friends, and um, I really missed them. But the thing was, when I came back, they were kind of different, and a lot of them just weren't the same. Um, some of them were just straight out jack jackasses, you know. I mean, they're assholes, and it's one of those things that you kind of got to move past. And I know it's hard to kind of say that, um, but you know, sometimes people are just going to be assholes. Um, but here's the thing too. Here's the thing too, and here's my big message as well. When you have a chance, reach out. Do not accept things for just flat out answers. And what I mean by that is like, you know, sometimes there are incidents where if you didn't talk to that person, you would never become their friend. For example, a lot of people on the server here, I reached out to, and I know if I didn't try to in that exact moment, I never would have spoken to them. And I would never have created memories with them that honestly have lasted a lifetime. And I'm beyond grateful for that. Now, if they're still an asshole and they just want to, you know, push you away, then you know what? Fuck them. You know what I mean? Um, sometimes you can't do anything about it, but I'm saying when you can't, when you can do something about it, try, 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 because I promise you, if you try, you will find memories and you will make moments in your life that you will never forget. So, anyways, let's move on. Number 14, I'm new here. Welcome. Number 16, I have used the words poggers, simp, and boomer in the wrong context. I mean, Boomer used to be like, you know, for Left 4 Dead too. I like to put toothpaste on my nipples. It tingles. I love it. Okay, first off, I'm very curious if this is a fucking guy or a girl. And second, dude, okay. I'm, I'm not saying that I haven't done weird shit myself. Like, dude, when I was like fucking young, like, let's say like, let's say like seven or six, like, dude, I did some weird shit with the toothpaste. Like, I remember, like, I fucking grabbed that whole ass tube from, like, you know, the bathroom, sneak in there, grab it, and just fucking, I'm, like, grind my fucking mouth. Like, I just fucking eat that shit. And, like, it, it tastes horrible, but I don't know, dude. Like, that fucking blue shit looked pretty damn cool. I was like, fuck yeah. But why the fuck did you put in your goddamn fucking nipples? Ah. Ah. I used to fight my pillow. I like singing without using my voice. What the fuck? I almost shoved a carrot up my pussy to play. What the fuck? Okay. 
<laughs> Dude. Why is there a care emoji? Why are there five people that fucking- <laughs> What the fuck? And then, I wish to know this person. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> I will shove a pizza up your- <laughs> Angry Italy noises. <laughs> Thank you. I completed ghost. You mean completely? On my, uh, completely ghosted, maybe? I don't know. Um, uh, I completely ghosted my girlfriend for the one I'm dating now. Oh, shit. Um, I completely shut off all communication and blocked her. I've never brought it up to anyone before because I've been too afraid to face my own feelings. Okay. This is fucking complicated. Because if you just do it out of the fucking blue, then it's definitely rough. I can definitely understand why the girlfriend might be fucking pissed. But, 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 there's a few incidences where this works. One is if you try to fucking say that, you know, you want to end things or you want to take things slow and they fucking just ignore you. Like, dude, like if you're fucking explaining it and they're like, fuck you, then you have all right to do that. Because, you know, if you want to move on and they're not okay with that, it's kind of their problem. It's not like, you know, if you move on to someone else that you're cheating because you kind of told them, right? Um, but another thing too, though, is like, if they're toxic, sometimes if they are, if you are in an abusive uh, relationship, you should block them and just cut off. It sounds horrible, but it's like, you know, sometimes that's what you gotta do. And I know, I've known, uh, especially guy friends, because, you know, I, I just sound mean, but, you know, girls can be fucking manipulative, dude. I mean, shit. Um, it, it happens, and it's sad. But the biggest thing here, though, it's like, I'm sorry, dude, but that fucking sounds like an ass move. I mean, I get it. I, I, I get why some people might do this, um, because it, it can be scary. But, um, you know, sounds like an ass move. I never brought it up to anyone before because I've been too afraid to face my own feelings. And, you know, I get that. I get that. Um, but the biggest thing now, like, what I'd recommend is, honestly, if you're, if it's been a while, it just seems like it has, because this was sent June. I would unblock her, tell her why you did, maybe because you were fucking nervous, maybe because you are scared, um, at least get the feelings out so that, you know, you clear the air, and at least you feel better about it, and, um, you know, you did that, um, but at least, at least, and here's the biggest thing, at least you didn't fucking play with two girls at once, because that's, that's fucking, you don't fucking do that, dude, like, it's better just to drop one person, even if, like, it's, like, right a fucking way, and then you move on to someone, at least you do it, and you're fucking straight out, because if you sound like a dick, who gives a shit? At least you sound like a fucking dick than a fucking cheater, you know what I mean? And that's on them. So, I used, what? I used to steal erasers in elementary school. What the fuck? Okay, well, I should, I mean, elementary school is elementary school. Um, here's a fun story. I remember when I was uh, in elementary school, I don't know, I was, it was like the earlier years. Um, I bring in pencils, right? And I don't know why, but the girls would always always think I'm fucking strong when I'd fucking break pencils. But I'd do it in like fucking stupid ways, like behind my head, with one finger, fucking on the desk, with my teeth and shit. And, you know, I'd fucking break all these pencils. You know, I'd be like, Hah! and then the fucking, you know, the girls would be like, wow! And then the teacher would be like, stop breaking pencils! Stop breaking pencils! Even though they're like, they're all my, they're all, they're all my, uh, my fucking pencils. They're my own fucking pencils. And she's like, stop it. And I'm like, fuck you. Um, two steps away from my goal. Still, which means that I better get grinding. This actually won't help, so rip. But I'm going to do daily uploads like a fool. LOL. Um, here's my here's my biggest thing for Zap. Okay, here's my biggest thing. Um, so, if you are grinding, there's nothing right, wrong with that. I recommend that all the time with YouTube or with any goal, right? You gotta fucking grind. But, but, you gotta do it calculated. When you were calculated and you know what you're going to do, you know that's when you make goals happen. That's when you hit shit. But I see it too often, and this goes with anything. Like, let's say you're working out. If you just keep fucking doing, you know, let's say push-ups, there's a point where it's just too much, or there's a point where it's just too little. You gotta know. And that's what I'm saying. For example, when people do live streams, they'll only have one person. It's like, it's not fucking worth it. Like, no offense to the person watching, but it's like, you know, you might as well just end it, wait, 
get your friends, tell them to jump on the, on their your Twitch or YouTube, right? And then you'll actually have someone to work with. And then you'll actually have something to snowball off of instead of just one person. Because really, this one person... Think of all the other live streams that at least have one more person than you. And there's probably going to be someone going in there instead. Um, but same thing with videos. It's like, that's why I, I get anxiety over making videos sometimes. Because you got you to plan what kind of title you want, what tags you get in there, what thumbnail, so that people will see it and you can grow your audience. Um, so th that's if you do want to grow, though. Number what? Who wants to date me? You use rule. You use number thirty-four for who wants to date me, bro, bro. Okay, first off, first I find I don't know, I just find it so ironic. Why would you say who wants to date me in an anonymous confession thing? Like, dude, okay, I have a friend named fucking Studio, right? <laughs> Let's say it was him that said that. Like, fuck. Like, what if what if I said yes? Like, oh, I want to date you, and then I'm fucking just dating Studio all of a sudden. Like, yeah, man. <laughs> like, shit. Um, number thirty-five. Sometimes I wish people gave as much to me as I give to them. But it's my fault for not speaking up about it and lying when I'm asked about it. Okay, so that's a very interesting one. Um, the biggest thing I can say about that is, you know, sometimes I wish. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. Um, because you know, I understand why you know you might want people to actually be there for you. Um, because you know, it kind of sucks when people aren't there for you. For example, like you know, um. I know a lot of times where uh, when I was younger, I'd be the only one that invited people over to my house and nobody else would invite me over to their house and it, it kind of just, you know, hurt. We're still friends, but it's like, are you not going to kind of return the favor or be nice and shit like that? And it was kind of like a, a really big dick move. Um, and it, it kind of it kind of just lingers with you that, you know, it's like anybody actually going to give a shit about me. Um, but the thing is, a lot of people don't realize they're doing that, and I wouldn't take it always, always, I wouldn't take it personally. Sometimes you do. Um, and the reason I say that is like, you know, uh, for example, I get busy. I get really busy, and I, I always get sidetracked with shit. But, you know, if someone says, oh, you know, I, I'd like to have a little bit more time, and, you know, please hang out with me a little bit more and do this, like, you know, sure, I'll try my best. Yeah, like, just nothing wrong with that. Always, 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 yeah. But there are times when, you know, Put simply, people just don't fucking give a shit. And they're fucking assholes. And that's when you gotta let go of people. And it sounds mean, but it's like, you know... Really, if they don't give as much to you as you give to them... Either that... You care more about them than they care about you and you're okay with that... Or frankly, you gotta let them go. Because it's just not fucking worth it then. It's just, to me, that just sounds toxic. And it's a one-sided relationship. So, there's no problem with you feeling that way. And... Really, sometimes you just gotta stand up for yourself and be like, this is how I feel. And there's nothing wrong with that. Number 36. I'm a quiet... I'm actually quiet most of the time. Because I have a friend that's diagnosed with SIA. I looked into this, actually, because I didn't know what it was. Um, apparently, it's cystic fibrosis. And I'm going to read up, like, the quick definition. It's an inherited, life-threatening disorder that damages the lungs and digestive system. Um, and, it, 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 like I said, it's life-threatening. It's rare. But um, it can last basically a lifetime. So, um, but uh, he passed out a few days ago because of it. So I've been worrying a lot. Sorry, I just need to get that out. First off, you have nothing to be sorry about. Um, I totally understand why you're probably feeling like this. Um, the biggest thing I can say is, you know, a lot of times people beat themselves up for this stuff. I know when I was uh, when when one of my friends, you know, um, committed suicide, I I had a lot of problems. And, uh, you know, it hurt me personally really bad. But, so, you know, the biggest thing you can do, really, is smile. Because when you beat yourself up, it doesn't do much. But when you do know you can do something good, and you actually do it and you work with that, at least in your conscious, and at least the people that, is, the person that is dealing with the hardship, can at least take that away. And that's the best thing you can do. I can promise you that. All right, 37. <laughs> Number 37. I'm transgender and have had a lot of troubles for at least eight months because of it. It really weighs me down and I feel like I just need to get it out there. Um, okay. So this is a very hard one for me to talk about just because it's very touchy. But I'm going to try my best to talk about it. So, um, 
I'm not sure if you've changed or not, if you have or have not, um, but the biggest thing about being transgender is really you have to deal and understand all the consequences that come with it. And if you're okay with that, if you're okay with that, then if that's your choice, then go for it. You know what I mean? Um, I am very much in support of it. Um, I do not support, though, um, when it's lied about, if that makes any sense. For example, um, a lot of people that, you know, are usually overweight will say that, oh, um, you're just calling me unhealthy and um, fat shaming me. And when, when you're not, you know, I mean, like I have a lot of, um, you know, you know, have to your friends that, you know, good for them. If they, if they want to be overweight, then, you know, it's fucking good for you, man. Um, and there's nothing, you know, inherently wrong with that. That's your choice. But you can't exactly lie about the real scenario that's at hand. And that's the same thing with transgenders. Um, so if you want to be trans, good for you. But for example, I don't really believe someone should be forced to say certain por- uh, pronouns when it comes to you. Um, if they're assholes, and frankly, they're fucking assholes. Fuck them and move on. Um, and I also don't believe that, you know, people should look away from the facts that, you know, there is a high, high percentage of people that commit suicide that are transgender. Or um, the fact that there it, it's very uh, unhealthy a lot of times. When, you know, you have to go through the surgeries and shit like that. Especially, like, you know, mentally. It's just, it's a lot of harsh, harsh shit um, that, you know, a lot of people just don't really talk about. Because people almost say it's, like, easy to do this, and it's not. But, but, does that mean you shouldn't be able to do this? No. No, you should be able to totally do this. I mean, fuck, dude. Like, you know, I'm probably one of the biggest people that talk about, you know, freedom to do shit. Yeah, you'll probably find, man. I mean, like, I don't give a fuck, man. If you want to do this, you should fucking do it. But you gotta know what's going to be coming at you when you do decide to do this. And that's the biggest thing I have to say about this. Um, You've had a lot of problems for eight months because of it. I'm not sure what those problems are. But the biggest thing I can say is find some friends and actually talk to them about it and how you're feeling. That's the biggest thing I can say. Because, you know, if you have at least some a little bit of advice... Um, at least a little bit of support from people that actually do care about you, then at least you'll get a little bit of um, an idea of where you should be going. And I mean like trans- friends you trust, not just friends that are going to support you because, oh, if I say something, then I'm going to offend you. Or, um, you know, friends that aren't going to say something because, you know, I don't give a fuck. Um, but that's the best advice I can probably give you because, you know, if this is really what you want to do, then you f- you got to fucking go for it. Really, you, you do. Um, and you shouldn't let anyone bring you down about it because um, really all power for you. All power for you. So, whoever you are, we all here for you. Damn right. Yeah, thanks, that shot. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. I'll fucking do that. All right. Uh, let's move on. I have a crush on Jewy. <laughs> no. <gasps> Fuck, man, dude. That's rough. We did some bullshit comments. We did some amazing comments, but I like this. It's fucking fun. Um, The confessions area is fun as fuck to talk about. And I hope you guys enjoyed this too. Um, I'm not exactly sure if you guys enjoyed it or not, but the biggest thing I can say here is at least we actually get to talk about this stuff and not kind of just slide under the, under the rug, and I, I enjoy that. Um, I feel like a lot of people don't actually talk about or have conversations about things like this anymore, and um, that's not right. I feel like, you know, even if, you know, people don't agree, there should be an area where you should safely be able to talk about things and, um, you know, not get ridiculed for it. So, um, anyways, um, the biggest thing about this is... Honestly, well, what I always end the video with, which is smile, keep your head up, and let's fight for the future so bright. It's too much for your eyes, because really in the end, that's all you can do. And those are some of the things that I can promise you, almost in any scenario, it'll work. And even if it doesn't fix a problem, it won't hurt. So, um, biggest thing is tell me what you thought in the comments below. If you didn't agree with me or you have any other thoughts, let me know. I mean, shit. I mean, this is an open conversation. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Um, I really like this. I really like talking about this shit. But um, if you guys have any other things you have to say, then, you know, let me know. Um, but um, please tell me what you think. Please sub because, holy fuck, we got to make this dream happen. Please like, as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Whoop.